We are now moving on to our next segment. Now, you've been using this phone for a while now. Did you make it your your woman yet? That's your daily driver. <laughs> Don't tell us. Just... I, I said I, I swear <laughs> <laughs> that was Just your about. woman yet. <laughs> so I, I've packed up my Z Fold 4 and it's ready to be sent to Samsung for my trade-in. So, you know, I haven't quite gone through with it yet, but I have decided I'm going to. So, yeah, I think I'm going to keep it. That's good. And you were mentioning earlier on while we were talking that there's a heft to it. And I kind of like hefty fonts. I, I don't know why, but I tend to like fonts that feel like heavy in my hand. And this one you indicated has that heft yeah i so i mentioned in the unboxing video because i was comparing it to the pixel 7 pro i mentioned that it didn't feel like there was a weight difference but you know after using it for a long time when i go pick up my pixel 7 pro it feels like it's about to float away and i i think i'm the opposite of you i sort of like a lighter phone it doesn't I don't feel like it doesn't feel cheaper to me just because it's lighter or anything, but you know, everybody has their preferences when it comes to that. Someone needs to take Ed's place here. So because Pixel 7 is a Fisher Price phone, it's made of very all plastic material inside. And Galaxy S23 Ultra is made of premium metal. Now doggone you. Uh <laughs> You know, um, it's convenient that Ed, I'll talk about him behind his back since he's not here today. It's convenient that he, out of all the Pixel phones he wanted to buy, he bought the Pixel 5, which I think is like kind of the it's outlier the worst, when it comes to... It's the yeah, worst uh, phone, built, uh, Pixel built phone, phone ever. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that I'm not going to lie, that one does feel a little cheap, like cut some corners on it that year for some reason. Uh, even with the processor they used in it, it it's the processor they normally use in their A series phones. Well, before they switched over to Tensor. So yeah, he he went out and got that phone so that he could start calling it Fisher Price. So I think that's exactly why he got that one. Exactly. And so, but you know, I like my phones with heft. And you know, uh, Austin, thanks a lot for trying to stab my Pixel 7 in the back. Doggone you, man. No, oh, Ed is listening to us, so he must be very happy that I stabbed the Pixel because they're nothing more than Fisher Price toys. I mean, if you stab the Pixel phone, your knife will go straight through it. Samsung might hold yeah, it back a little bit. It's no plastic, yeah. All that needs to happen is to look at the Jerry Rick, everything, um, uh, bending and touching, burnings and all of that. And both the Samsung phones and the Google phones hold up to his torture. So what are you guys talking about? He didn't use a sharp enough knife. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. So I guess, John, the one question I would have is like, what do you honestly find that easier to work with the larger screen from the fold or the larger screen being on like a flat device? So I, I prefer the fold screen, but I found I wasn't really using it enough. Like that when I would use the fold was when I was at home, like when I would use it open is when I was at home, when I could just grab a tablet anyway. So I think I, the, the fold when it's closed, it had a smaller screen. It was kind of weird. It was very narrow, even though it was tall. So I prefer this form factor since I'm going to be using it closed most of the time for the fold. So I will miss it being able to just open it rather than like grab a tablet or something. But, what do you mean? Because um, you actually have to get up and move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, just the thought that I could do this while i'm out even though i never do it while i'm out <laughs> unless i'm trying to show off you know i want somebody to be like oh whoa what's that folding phone you got you know that's basically the only reason i would ever open it up in public so john which one is taller is the uh s23 ultra taller than the fold i would think it would be isn't it mm -hmm. so if you open the fold and you turn the um s23 into landscape the fold would ha be wider so it's actually a larger screen when the fold is open which makes sense is it a lot larger or just a bit larger 
I mean, is it like it, almost like a tablet, the fold when it's open? It's well, it's quite. like a it's kind of like a square tablet. So it's like a tablet that's not as wide. Like if you're holding it's in landscape, almost in bet- in between, sort of. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. its own form factor. Yeah. Which has its pros and its cons. And the Galaxy Ultra is that that's quite big, is it? Com- compared to the ordinary one, or or is it? Yeah. As, is it? It's six point yeah. eight inches, where the normal is six point one inches. So it. Yeah, it is a lot bigger. Um, the screens are... I know this only really applies to low vision users, but the screen was supposedly the same. People thought it was the same because it had the same brightness, same resolution, same frame rate, all that. But that we've actually found since it's been released that it's using a different technology to power it. And that's part of the reason why it's getting uh, better battery life than the S22 Ultra is because... It, it's it, more of a, an efficient screen, so it's getting just as bright, but using less battery. And that coupled with the more efficient processor they're using this year gives it a lot better battery life. I actually, so even though I don't need to, I turned the screen brightness up to 100%. I even turned on the switch for extra brightness, and I turned off the switch for adaptive brightness so that it would just stay full brightness all the time. And I went through the whole day and I got over six hours of screen on time with it, which is crazy. I've never had a phone get that much screen on time when I have the brightness maxed out like that. Have you tried it without the brightness maxed out and see how long that lasts? I Today's actually the first day. So I put it back down to 50% today. And I'm just going to see like how low it gets by the end of the day. Yeah. I mean... It will easily, I, it'll last me a full day on full brightness. So the only question is, could it last me two days with half the brightness? I guess I'll find out. I'm really impressed with the battery life on this uh, phone, John, the Galaxy S23 Ultra. And like you said, you know, um, they said, well, you know, Samsung didn't mention this in the announcement or the unveiling. But yeah, this is a new screen, something new. And so far, though, they've said this is the most phones that people have been purchasing out of the 23 uh, series. It's the Ultra that people are getting. So I think people have wise up. Hey, I'm, if I'm going to get a phone, I'm going to get a good one. Do the other ones have that screen, or is it just the Ultra? So they do, and they actually have improved the right. So if, if, you're, if that's something that's really important to you, That's something to keep in mind. The S22s do not get as bright as the S23 phones when it comes to the base model and the plus model. So this year, the base model and the plus model also go up to max of 1750 nits when it comes to brightness. So they're kind of catching up in brightness to what the S22 was last year. So if you're coming, if you're comparing an S22 Ultra from last year to an S23 Ultra from this year, the brightness won't look any different although it will use less power but for the other the two lower end models you it is noticeably brighter on those and uses less power what about the sound how are you finding that hmm it's so it's really good i you know after coming from my fold where it had equal speakers like an upward and a downward firing you know it just bugs me that when when you're when you have stereo speakers on a phone, one is f- firing down and the other is firing at you, and it just doesn't sound quite equal. So that mm. bugs me a little bit. But as far as how loud it gets and how clear clear it gets, they're very good speakers. No complaints at all. S Pen or no S Pen? I I don't use the S Pen. That's but there definitely is one, not. Is there? Yeah, yeah, it's there. Does it have a little bit in the side where you p- can put it or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's it keeps it in there and it charges keeps it charged. Um so when you pull it out, you know, it, it connects using Bluetooth. Um so yeah, you can use oh, it. Can... The S Pen actually has its own charge. I thought it was just like a Oh no, it's got its own no. charge. That's just me yeah. being silly. Okay. I I've never you could used do, one, so I don't you know. You could do gestures with it like in the air if you want to like swipe right to skip songs or swipe left even when you're not touching the screen there's a button on it that you can use to like capture a photo if you want to like set up your phone somewhere and then take your S-pen. like in a, se- a selfie and you want to be far yeah. away or your you and your family that's yeah, quite cool picture, yeah so you could just that take yourself 
But yeah, so it's connected wirelessly and you can just press the button on it to snap the photo. So there are some situations where I would use it, but it's not like I don't use it as a stylus. Yeah, but that's cool that you can do that. Mm hmm. It's that's, nice. That's awesome. And is it only the Ultra that has the stylus? Yeah, it is. It's yeah, basically well, they've the Ultra has taken over what used to be the Note, so they don't have a Note mm. anymore. If you want the S Pen ver Galaxy phone, you just have to get the S Ultra now. Now, see, in as much as I like the uh, S23 Ultra or all the Ultra um, series, the uh, one thing that may be a put off for me is the S Pen. I I wish I had one that didn't have that. So I think for me, I may be getting the plus if I were to get it. Um, cause I, oh, yeah, because you don't like the smaller screen, do you? No, I Whereas don't. I, I like that I've, big I've, I've got girly hands. I've got girly Bigger hands. Bigger is I better. Big yeah. Well, no, I like the girls, not but not the, uh, <laughs> the girly stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I was strongly concerned. I actually thought I was going to get the S23 Plus. That was my point, my idea going in. And, you know, it's shaped better. Like, it has more of a, the rounder corners like a normal phone. But because there has to be room for the S Pen, the corners are, like, yeah. squared off. They're, like, sharp corners. So it's it feels a lot bigger than it is. So even though it's the only difference between the Plus and the Ultra is 6.7 versus 6.8, inch screen but it feels a lot bigger just because of how it's shaped that's right and you know people like it so that's a good thing um and people find a lot of usage for that s pen so um it's one of those things that uh, comes down to choice but i really like the size of the phone 68 that's a nice size i like that i think i'd go for the the smaller one personally that's what i would do 